Monday morning. Hope you had a good Christmas. Under 40,000 left to go on the contract with three days left to haul because uh, we're close for New Year's and New Year's Eve. I think we might make it. Right now, we got coffee and a meeting of the minds. That's right. That's right. We'll make it. Easy. Easy. Six trucks, three loads a day, mm -hmm. times three. 28. Carry the one. Mine's is over. Wasn't much of a meeting, as I'm sure you can assume. He's gonna do book work, and I'm going to uh, clean out some more ditches. It's not super cold, but it's cold enough to probably need some bibs on. Much better. I'm in the process of tracking down our ditch that runs down there, cleaning it out. Pretty close to the farm. Hopefully, you can see it in the background there. So I'll just drag that down instead of driving. It's pretty loud as it is. So I usually, I kind of like running a track with the uh, window open. I don't know. That's the way I like it. I'm closing it so hopefully you can hear me a little better, which I know it's still loud. The plans for this week is to finish our December contract. We got six trucks running. Oh, it'll be a full day Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to stop so I quit shaking. It'll be a full day Monday and Tuesday and get it easy on Wednesday. And I'll be doing this. David's cleaning on bins, keep them going. We got Gordy, we got Damon, we got George, we got Travis, we got Corey, we got Garrett. They're all in semis. Uh, Dad's doing book work up at the office. Uh, just to let you guys know if you like the video make sure to smash that like button for us help us out Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and just to let you know the two things that everybody's been wanting I'm gonna try and get them done this winter is an equipment tour Which I can't do right now because we got a lot of equipment that we're waiting to come in right now uh, We trade off two planters one of them's in we traded off two tractors Neither one of them's in we trade off one combine and the new one's not in, so we're gonna wait for them to come in, hopefully March, sometime like that when they're all in, we'll be able to do that. But the other thing everybody's been wanting is a little farm history and a little bit more info on everybody. So just to let you know, that is in the works. I'm working on that. I got some old slides I'm mixing in. Uh, working on getting some old farm video off dad, which I got him a legacy box for a Christmas present a few years ago. So they are digitized, just trying to find them get everybody for an interview work them in there'll be quite a bit of editing but uh just let you know that i have heard you that you want it and we will be getting that to you uh just might take a little time on that one but till then we'll do a little bit more of the day-to-day -day operations like right now cleaning out ditches Done for today. Oh, forgot to show you the good part. I want the mud to freeze in there. I don't think you can see it. Maybe tomorrow. I'll clean out the tracks. Tuesday. Back track going. I didn't get done uh, yesterday with it, but I got pretty close. Pointing out this is uh, the first field we tried strip tilling. Ground's a little froze right now, but the afternoon these strips are really soft, so it's kind of nice to have this to get back here to it. These are the two worst field uh, outlets that's uh, been washed over over the years. One's off of my brother's house. 
the others for draining this field so uh they were way underwater you couldn't even find it there it is water was way up here now it's down to there for cleaning it out so that's the goal had two other outlets that we've already got to that uh, were underwater one probably six inches underwater now it's six inches out of the water so this field has got a main that runs right here and it's got laterals that go every 40 feet the uh, field tile that drain it the, so it dries under the ground the outlets in the ditch so that'll be able to drain a lot better a lot faster since uh getting the ditch cleaned out hop in there and give you a shot of it a lot of dirt out of the ditch in the field we'll take a dozer and spread it out later and uh and work it up there it is might do a little uh more cleaning down that way where i got a little bump but uh yeah, here's our main tile outlet that drains the field. The water was, I don't know, six inches above it. So about here, now it's way down there. Doing some good, doing some good. You've always heard the joke, why farmers got four by fours on the side of their truck because they work four weeks in the spring and four weeks in the fall. Hopefully these videos show you that's not true. Always something to be done. Being bored or running out of something to do is usually never a problem. Looks like we've done some good. I haven't got to that one yet. I'm gonna shovel the rest of this off by hand, but get down here. As you can see, that is far from being underwater now. That's more better. That's mud, much mud in. Got as much out as I can. Might have to snake that dude. Got our project done. That's good because it's only 100% chance of rain tomorrow. So that means it'll, it'll probably rain. Uh, last thing you gotta do, especially when it's cold, you get this wet mud in there. If you don't dig out your truck tracks, they'll freeze up on you and won't want to move, but uh, they're not too bad, but it's gonna do now. Kind of a pain, but uh, it's a lot easier to do now when it's wet and muddy than when it's cold and frozen, then it's, then it's awful.
Well, that's one side. I don't see any reason to bore you with the other side. Let just get done cleaning it out. Oh, there you, hey, there you are. <laughs> yeah, come out to clean out the tracks. Yeah. Need me to clean out the tracks? Uh, huh? Huh? Day late and dollar short, I oh, guess. Oh, I wanted to clean them out. Dang. You already did it? Yeah, I already did it. Darn. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Nasty day. We're right there. It's been raining. It's still gonna rain. So we're doing stuff in the shop. Eli is cleaning up the Jeep. I did some small motor repair after several minutes, okay, hours on YouTube, whatever. Time's not important. For a, doing a simple job. What are you doing, David? What are you doing, David? Hey, David. Bolts away, spare parts out of the front wheel assist. Mm. There's some bad stuff and good stuff, so sorting and putting away. And now we're gonna get that part. Looks broke. Yep, it's broke. Look at the new Richardson's hats. Woo! I'd like to oh, congratulate you. Guy. For what? Filling the December contracts. 210,000 bushel. In three loads. <laughs> Before that, it's not 235,000. 235,000? Because 25, I thought, was March, was actually in December. Oh. Even bigger congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You know, yeah, I do what I can. I like to thank my sponsors out there. Discover Car, MasterCard. How about uh, Chase Car? You gotta thank your team. I'm just one man. Yeah, yeah. I gotta thank my team, for sure. They do a good job. <laughs> Left foot on the clutch, right foot on the skinny pedal. They make a great team. They really do. We got two of them out here loading yellow, waiting in line. No more beans. Until March. No. February. February. Quack. Congratulations. A what? The December contract is full. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. When you got done with the beans, the December contract was full. So congratulations. First one of the year. Yep. That was a big one. I thought it was 210. I guess it's 235 because there's some. Anyways. We fought a lot. Yeah. Been an endless battle, but once again, we overcome. And we move on to the next one. An even bigger one. <laughs> yeah, that's what we <laughs> yeah. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have high hopes of getting it filled by the end of the month. But. Is that the 300 and something? Or is that February? No, January. January's the big one. It's all corn, too. Yeah. Heck with them beans. Those yeah. were so me last and, month. Me and him's going to be hauling them ones from Robson next week, so. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Simber beans. Psst. Done. <laughs> Let's see. We got 250. Go to ADM. And almost 85 to go to Lincoln Land. It's all you. Yep. Yeah, we're close there. Happy New Year. New Year's ended better than it has been, or the old year's ended. That's right, but 2021's next. You want to tell you a joke? We went through 2020, and at the end of it is 2021. Joke. He blew that. <laughs> he blew it. How you say it? Um, <clears throat> no, you. You know what the worst part about 2020 is? At the end of it, you have to say 2021. <laughs> Cue the rim shot. <laughs>
Last day of 2020. Don't really know if anybody will be sad to see it go, but here's Happy New Year to you. Hope you enjoy the video. This should be out on the New Year's. David's went to spread a little rock for the truck drivers because the elevators are open on New Year's Eve, even though I thought they'd be uh, closed. They're not. Uh, Dad went to All right, Damon just loaded out of our big bin we've got over here of yellow corn. It holds 250,000 bushel. We got her full this fall. And I'm over here on New Year's Eve and everybody's trucking today, but I'm going to spread some rock here. It's kind of freezing up, so it's a little more solid today, but it ain't gonna stay that way for sure. So we'll get on skid steer. Move a little bit of rock. I'm already tired of this cold weather. Ready for spring and summertime. Boating weather is more my weather than this cold freezer butt off weather. Uh, dad went to go turn the year end books in and uh, I'm gonna fix the light. Ballast is out on that one. As the ballasts go out, we are uh, converting them to uh, LEDs. We got these LED converter kits and LED lights, so hopefully they last a little longer. So up we go. Sure is handy having a lift. That so it's pretty simple. This next one will have no balances. Not near as many wires. As well, it certainly looks a lot cleaner and simpler. Now, just button up, put some bulbs in, and uh, see if it works, which would be a pretty important part of it. Here's the rat nest, rat nest that we're able to do away with. See, they work. Yep. Tell the difference in brightness or not. LED. Not LED. LED. Not LED. I can tell it here. I don't know if you can tell it there or not. Hopefully they last longer too. At least they're better because they're more expensive. It's day. A new truck. You got a brand new truck? Not brand new. The one new. guy making new... money this year. This guy right here. Making. Yeah. Heck yeah. I got a new truck, folks. <laughs> the angle. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's Layton got to say? Oh, shout out to Layton for cleaning it for me before I took it home. Before I take it home here in just a minute. $7. Thanks, Layton. Yeah. Seven bucks. Layton's detailing. <laughs> Seven dollars a day. Yeah. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Thank you.
Say Happy New Year, David. Merry New Year! <laughs>